Good morning everybody, this is Doug from DC Best Ever and on today's episode I'm going to show you how to make a cool 3D text effect using paint.net, so stick around. Now this video is going to be for people who are already familiar with paint.net or software that is similar to this like Photoshop. I will include a link in the description down below so you can download this software for free. It's excellent for creating logos, graphic designs, you know, YouTube profile pictures, things, things like that. It's uh, never steered me wrong and uh, I've never had any issues with it. Plus there's a boatload of plugins that you can download for free as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open paint.net right now. And I don't have to mess with the canvas size because we're just doing text in this one. Uh, so we can just leave it the, the way that it is. Uh, so what we want to do now is we're going to select our text tool. And in case you want to add a background behind your text, uh, it's a good idea to go down here and add a new layer. So the text that you're creating is on its own separate layer. Now the type of text that you might want to consider using for this tutorial is going to be anything that has uh, like sharp corners. You know, some of the fonts will have rounded edges, um, but I think it kind of takes away from it if you're using the rounder looking fonts. I have one that I think would probably work really well for this one, and that would be this. And I think with this size canvas, maybe 144 would be a good size font. And I'm just going to put your text. Now, one of the tools that I use very frequently, actually almost every single project, is the centering tool. So if you go up here to effects, then scroll down to object and then click, I'm sorry, object align. And then you click center both. What it does, it, it'll move whatever image is on that specific layer to dead center on the canvas, which helps out in a lot of cases. Uh, and now what we want to do is duplicate this layer so go down here click duplicate layer now you're gonna go back down here to the layer that's underneath click on layers and rotate slash zoom and you don't have to zoom in a lot usually about 0.5 or 0.6 works and then click OK And what you want to do is you want to color the layer in the background, like a light gray usually works. I mean, you can use whatever color you want, but um, we're going to go with the light gray because you can get a good contrast. So I'm going to hold shift and then left click, and then that will color that, that entire layer gray of text. Now, go up here to the, the top layer of text and you're gonna wanna duplicate that I believe two more times. It's good to have an extra one than not have enough. And now the the lower one that's still colored in black, we're going to wanna go to Effects, Object, and Drop Shadow. And you want to go scroll all the way up to the top here because you want that drop shadow to be white. And for the widening radius, you're going to want to bring it down to about two or three. I think two actually works. So let's click OK. Now go back down to the gray text layer and go back to effects, object, and outline object. And now you want to move this slider down all the way to the bottom so it's black outline and the outline radius usually one works good for that one and click OK now what we're gonna do is this text layer here 
that has the the white outline we're going to merge that layer down with the gray text layer and go back to effects object drop shadow and now we want a black drop shadow so bring that all the way down you can increase the widening radius and I like to bring it up to about six or seven you know depending and for those who aren't familiar with the opacity tool you can kinda of make it a lighter shadow but that's entirely up to you um, I think it looks kinda of cool with the with the darker shadow behind it now click OK on that and now one more step that I like to do is go up to one of these additional text layers and grab the uh, the rectangle select tool and just start anywhere to the top left or top right of it and then drag it across here and just highlight the like kinda like the upper half of the text and then go to adjustments hue and saturation and then bump up the lightness to about like 35 and then click OK and the reason you can't see anything is because we have this additional layer if you turn that off you can see what we did here and then uh, go up here and deselect and what it does is kinda makes it look glossy so that upper portion of the text so that is pretty much it as far as uh, the effect that I wanted to show you guys let me know in the comments below what you think if you don't have this specific font on your version of paint.net I will give you the link to defont.com which is a really cool website that gives you tons of different fonts that you can install on paint.net it's I mean you can't use it for stuff that's gonna like make money like for instance you can't create a bunch of t-shirts to sell online using the fonts that are available on there uh, it's it's basically just for your own personal use but it's still cool to play around with the, the hundreds of different texts that they have available on there uh, but that's it for today's video um, don't forget to like subscribe and share and in the meantime be the best versions of yourself ever I will see you in my next video take care guys